Hello and welcome to this tutorial. I'm going to teach you how to do topology optimization in Fusion 360. The subject for this tutorial is going to be this wall bracket I designed. So, to start off with topology optimization, you click on this menu and go to simulation. Once you arrive here, you'll be presented with this menu. Click on shape optimization and press create study. Once you're here, the first thing you'll want to do is add a load. This is my wall bracket, and since the wall is going to be on this side, this side is where the load's going to be. So I want to press on this load logo, and then click on this face. It's going to ask to specify the force. The force is the weight of your load in kilograms times 9.8. So if I have a 10 kilogram load on this, my force is going to be 98 newtons. Next thing you want to do is add constraints. One constraint I have for this is that I need this screw hole to be intact because or else I can't put in a screw and secure this to the wall. So I'm going to click on this constraints right here and then click on this tube where the screw hole is and then press OK. Now that I've added a constraint and press the load, I go up here to the solve and I see that it has a green check, which means it's ready to be put into topology optimization. So you're going to click on the drop down menu here and press solve. Now it's calls it shape optimization, but it's the same thing as topology optimization. Here you're going to press solve one study. Fusion 360 forces you to do this on their cloud, so this might take you a while based on where you are in their queue and how big your project is. After this is done, now press close and your model is ready for topology optimization. So the reason my model looks like this is because I didn't add many constraints just for the purpose of this video. You will add constraints based on your model. But here it is. And then you can use a slider to adjust how much of your model you want or don't want. Topology optimization basically takes away everything from the model that you don't need. If you slide the slide it all the way up this is the parts of your model that contribute most to holding the load and the more you slide down the more parts of your model are added because all of these also contribute to the load but less than these parts up here so once you've reached something that you like then you're gonna press finish results and then go back into design. And when you press save as STL, it'll save it as how you did it in topology optimization. 